Well, hello and welcome back to Ponds Forge. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. We've had two full days and a half of action from Friday evening all day yesterday and this morning, a long one this morning. But this is what it all boils down to here at the box. Long Course Swimming Championships 2019. We're, high, we're here live, poolside at Ponds Forge. It's day three, it's session six, which means it's time for the finals. So thank you for joining us. If you're watching online, of course, you can use the chat box to get in touch or use the hashtag Box Nationals. It's the 100th year of university sport. It's a big one, and we're looking forward to a big session coming up in 10 minutes time. So Camp America, just one of our partners here, that's Cookery, Outgoing and Ashaway. They are both here all day. Cookery are here. If you want to get a little bit kit, get your name put on it with the event title and championship. If you are coming down, you need to be quick. We are getting underway in a few minutes. Again, get in touch. Use the box next to the video on the stream. Leave us a message for your loved ones, your family, your friends, whoever's getting involved. Or use the hashtag BoxNationals and follow us on Twitter or any other social media. Plenty of sports going on across the UK and across venues in this Bucks Nationals weekend. But we're coming to you live from Ponds Forge. The action gets underway sharp at 2.30.
So if you are just joining us again, welcome to day three, session six. It's the final session here at the Bucks Long Course Championships 2019, here live from Poolside in Ponds Forge, International Sports Centre in Sheffield. It's all been building up to this. Session six is our finals. No less than 16 to enjoy. We're going to start with the 200 meter butterflies, men's and women's, 100 meter freestyle, men's and women's, breaststroke 100 meters, the open 200 medley, the butterfly 50 meters. We'll have the 100 meter backstroke finals, and then we'll have the 400 meter medleys for the men's and the women's B finals and A finals. So 16 finals to bring you. They're going to absolutely fly by. We'll be getting underway very, very shortly. We'll just wait for our athletes to make their way down to poolside. You can see them in the top left-hand corner just waiting for you. Again, get involved. Use the chat box on the streaming service or use the hashtag Box Nationals. And here we go already, event number 601. If you want to be very official, this is the women's 200-meter butterfly. From lane zero, Ruth McEwen of Leeds Beckett, Katie Taylor of Strathclyde, Emma Day of Manchester Metropolitan, Lucy Thornton, King's College, Kiana McInnes, Sterling, Charlotte Atkinson, Loughborough, Melanie Hall, Sheffield Hallam, Tane Bruce, Edinburgh, Kate Mills, Loughborough, and Abigail Burr of Swansea. Fastest entry, a 214.91, courtesy of Kiana McKins of Sterling. The Bucks Championship record is 209.21. And great support from poolside. Pockets of fans throughout the arena. Every single university team is sat somewhere separately amongst themselves. So you do hear little pockets of cheering from different areas. What a great atmosphere inside Ponds Forge. It's a wonderful venue. And we're pleased to bring you again session six, the final session here of a Bucks Nationals weekend. Plenty of sports going on. We're covering the swimming, of course. And as well as individual gold, silver and bronzes, there is a team competition up for grabs as well. I'll bring you the points update very shortly. But let's get underway. This is your women's 200 metre butterfly final. And we're away, and Charlotte Atkinson in lane five of Loughborough, 2.15.10 coming in. She actually holds the 200-meter record set in 2018 last year of 209.21. So we had the heats earlier on this afternoon or even this morning. It was a long session from 9 a.m. right through to half past one. If you joined us for the whole thing, congratulations. This session is going to be a lot shorter and the races are going to be hopefully a little bit quicker. Of course, gold, silver and bronze on the line for every single race coming up. But the B finals, of course, and the medley team relays, but they'll be our final events. We'll come back to those and explain that a little bit later. But for now, let's just concentrate on the pool. Lane five, Charlotte Atkinson. Leads the leader from the heats, Kiana McInnes. And it's a 2.5 second lead early on. Just shy of three back to Thornton. Three and a half back to Day and McEwen. And with 75 to go, it's McInnes with all the work to do from Sterling. Charles Atkinson of Loughborough. They're the two main rivals. They're at the top of the leaderboard in terms of points across the whole competition. Loughborough with 229, Sterling with 174. Edinburgh not far behind, 162. And there's points on board for all the medals. So Atkinson stretched that lead out now to 3.31 over McInnes. Just 4.83 back to Thornton, so she's hot on the heels of McInnes. But with 25 to go, nobody's going to stop Loughborough. Sean Atkinson of getting the first gold of this afternoon session. Turn for home in 136.21. Entry time again. It's irrelevant, but it was a 2.15.10. She's going to be well under that to take her gold medal. The first one of the afternoon, 2.11.03 for Atkinson. Silver will go to McInnes in a 2.13.94. And then the bronze is won by Lucy Thornton of King's College, 2.16.84.
And there's your first medal winners of the afternoon. So a gold to Loughborough, a silver to Stirling and a bronze to King's College. Again, everything adding up to the points total a little bit later on, but individual pride and glory there in the pool. And next up, we'll move straight on to the men's butterfly. So with every event, we do the women first, then the men. And we'll follow that process right through to our conclusion. So if you're watching the heats earlier, we absolutely fly through them. But with these finals, they've earned the right to have a little bit of a walk on, have their names read out, a little bit of music in the background. Makes it a bit more special in a very special venue. And here they come, the gents in the 200 meter butterfly final. Harley Bean Cheese of Edinburgh in zero. Mark Elric of Glasgow in one. Harry Lewis Mitchell, Edinburgh in two. Will Slawson of Birmingham in three. Duncan Scott of Stirling in four. Tom Bailey of Plymouth in five. Jamie Wilkes of Loughborough in six. Jonah Walsh of Harriet Watt in seven. Afonso Sakira of Manchester in eight. And Felix Gifford of Stirling in nine. Record time in this one. Cameron Brody back in 2015 of Sterling, 157.93. Fastest entries coming from Duncan Scott and Tom Bealey, 204.59 and 204.71. So something ridiculously special to get anywhere near that Bucks record. These are long course records I'll be referring to, of course. Tom Bealey just taking his time to get his T-shirt off. Everybody else stood next to the podiums. And here he comes. He's left his start to the last second, Willie Willis. And his race to the last second as well. This is your men's 200 meter butterfly final. That's a great start by both Scott and Bealey. And they are both early leaders at the 25 metre stage, neck and neck. And the remaining eight contenders in the pool, all neck and neck also. Again, the entries, they both in the 204s. And you have to jump a full second before you get to Will Slawson and Jamie Wilkes, both in 206s. Maymark, it's just 500 separating them. And then you've got two on exactly 0.39 behind. Jamie Wilkes of Loughborough, the closest to the front two. And it is very close. And lane number one, Mark Elric of Glasgow. Currently lying in fourth position. So there's 2.22 separating Scott and Bealey, then 0.85 back to Wilkes. Elric and Sakira, Lawson, all within two seconds. Still Scott and Bealey absolutely neck and neck. Who's going to put the pedal down in the final 50? They're going to turn absolutely in sequence. It's 0.35 separating now, 1.75 back to Wilkes, Melrick. Lewis Mitchell's come through to be 0.32. But it is a two-man race down the centre for the gold. Scott and Bealey, Sterling and Plymouth. In lane number one, Mark Alaric of Glasgow. He's got a chase on with Jamie Wilkes of Loughborough in six. But these two men be neck and neck from the very first metre. And it's going to come down to the final five. Who's going to get it on their final touch for the line? Oh my goodness me, it's Duncan Scott takes the gold for Sterling. Two minutes, 0.47. Two tenths ahead of Tom Bealey. Neck and neck the entire race. And a bronze will go to Jamie Wilkes of Loughborough at 2.04.88. But that was a two-man race from start to finish. Somebody had to take gold, somebody had to take silver. It was Duncan Scott. Jamie Wilkes, the bronze for Loughborough. Again, all points on the board. Try and update you as often as we can with the point situation 
Of course, you can use the box website. All the information you could ever dream of on there. The entry times, the starting lineups, live results. And whole pages and pages of event information. So two finals down, 14 to come. Next up, we're back to the women with a 100 metre freestyle. And we welcome them to the full side now. And from the near side, you're going to have a Sophia Altoft of Sterling, teammate Hannah Featherstone in two, Katie Latham of Kent, Lucy Hope of Edinburgh, Marie Wattle of Loughborough in five, Rachel Masson of Edinburgh. Loughborough's Emily Crane in six, Emily Horn of Glasgow Caledonia in seven, Gulsum Onau West of Scotland in eight, and Rihanna Smith Queen Mary in nine. So Edinburgh's Rachel Masson, an Edinburgh sandwich between two Loughborough's Mary Wattle and Emily Crane. Entry times 56.56 for Wattle, 56.79 for Masson, and Emily Crane 57.28. Lucy Hope of Edinburgh, 56.9. So two members from Stirling, two members from Edinburgh, two members from Loughborough. Every single team, of course, hoping for a double podium. And in the women's 100 metre freestyle, Mary Wattle of Loughborough is the Bucks' leading contender. She's 54.33, the Bucks' record. 56, 56 to get into this final. This is your women's 100 meter freestyle final. So Mary Wattle with the fastest entry and of course the Bucks record again, that was achieved last year. Just 1,300 separating her and Masson in the heats. Shorty reads by 0.92 over Crane. Hope, Masson, Latham, Thorne, all up towards two seconds. And that's an incredible lead coming into the final 15 metres in lane number four. Nothing's going to take this away from Wattle of Loughborough. Incredible fight on for silver and bronze. It's going to be between lanes three, five and six. That's Hope, Masson and Crane. But Wattle takes gold in 54.22. And in fact, that is a Bucks record. 54.22 breaks her previous record by 11 hundredths of a second. Silver goes to Lucy Hope of Edinburgh. And Emily Crane makes it a Loughborough gold bronze. And that is again a Bucks record for Marie Wattle, breaking her own record from last year. A wonderful swim, breaking her entry time from the heats by a couple of seconds as well. So left everything in the tank for the final. It's another gold and bronze for Loughborough. Silver's at Edinburgh, courtesy of Lucy Hope. And we'll move on to the men's 100 metre freestyle. Again, just giving everybody the courtesy of having an empty pool. And a nice warm welcome. So we're already on our fourth final of 16. It's not going to last long this session. And it's going to be full of excitement. Here come the men then for the 100 metre freestyle final. From the near side, we have Christopher Muir of Glasgow, Rob Cowley in one of Manchester Metropolitan, Geoffrey Chen of Bath in two, Sam Irvine of Loughborough in three, Scott McClay of Stirling in four, David Cumberledge, Harriet Watt in five, Craig McLean, Stirling in six, Kieran McGuckin of Edinburgh in seven, his teammate Jack Thorpe in eight. 
and Neil Wiley of Manchester Metropolitan in nine. Fastest entry, Scott McClay, of course, in four from Sterling, 50.73. Two tenths behind was Cumberledge of Harriet Watt in 50.93. No other man anywhere near there. Second jump back to Sam Irvine and Craig McLean. 49.1 the Bucks record. But that'll just be a bonus. The number one priority is, of course, get a gold medal around your neck. Wild Boys plays over the sound system. You might be able to hear it in the background. And we'll be hoping for a wild 100 metre freestyle final. So here we go, the men's 100 metre freestyle final. That's a good start from Sam Irvin of Loughborough. In lane number three, alongside of in four, Scott McClay of Sterling. Plenty of pointing going on. <laughs> He's in the lead. It is McGuck in 0.75 in lane seven, ahead of Irvin in three. And Wiley and McClay down in fourth at the moment in lane four, 0.94 behind. And you don't see many golds coming from lane number eight, but Jack Thorpe is a storming down the far side. Entry time of 53.07. And he is walking away with this 100 metre final in lane number eight. Takes it comfortably 50.06. Only a tenth or so outside the Bucks record. Silver goes to Craig McLean. And Scott McClay, the fastest from the heats, has to settle for a bronze in the final. Still coming in under 51 seconds. Four men to do so. Kevin, Kieran McGuckin of Edinburgh just missing out by three hundredths of a second on a medal. But a 50.06 Jack Thorpe from Edinburgh. Cracking swim from lane eight. And it's a sterling silver bronze, McLean and McClay. But trailing by 0.35 and 0.9 of a second respectively. A convincing winning over 100 metres. And we're going to stick with that distance now as we move back to the women. This is officially event 6.05. And it'll be the 100 metre breaststroke final now. And you can just see them in the top hand corner. Here they come in. From lane zero, we're going to see Laura Hawkins of Swansea, Kira Fletcher of Nottingham, Annabelle Guy Johnson of Edinburgh. In three, Imogen Clark of Loughborough. In four, teammate Sarah Vasey of Loughborough. In five, Katie Matz, Manchester Metropolitan. In six, Cara Hanlon, Edinburgh. In seven, Rachel Taylor of Newcastle. And in eight, Denisa Elena Gogo of Manchester. And in nine, Zoe Bewley of Oxford. Incredibly tight on the entry times from the heats. Four women in the 110s, the fastest of which Sarah Vasey, 110.24. Then you have a 0.4, a 0.53 and a 0.69 coming from Katie Mouse, Imogen Clark and Cara Hanlon. And then it's a couple of seconds jump out to Annabelle Guy-Johnson and the outer lanes. Bucks record 107.78. We've seen one box record already from Mary Wattle, breaking her own time in the 100 metre freestyle. I predict a riot over the sound system this time. They do pick the tunes, don't they? This is your women's 100 metre breaststroke final. A 
again. Great start from lane number three. This time Imogen Clark of Loughborough ahead of teammate Sarah Vasey in lane zero. Good start from Laura Hawkins of Swansea. But already being pulled back through the first 25. And lane number three, Sarah Vasey not hanging about whatsoever. She'll turn in the lead with Imogen Clark. Pretty much neck and neck, the teammates Vasey actually 0.34 behind. So it's Sarah Vasey, Imogen Clark, Katie Matz all involved. But it's Imogen Clark and Sarah Vasey, the two Loughborough athletes that are going for gold and silver. I predict a riot was the tune coming in. I predict a gold for Loughborough. And it could be coming the way of Sarah Vasey. Turned in 31.74, entry time of 110.24. That's going to be broken. And it's going to be a gold silver for Loughborough, the way of Sarah Vasey and Imogen Clark. The bronze goes to Manchester Metropolitan, or 109.3 for Katie Matz. Just out touching Cara Hanlon of Edinburgh, but it's a 108.06. So just a few tenths outside the Bucks record, but it's a gold medal. For Sarah Vasey, it's a silver for Loughborough as well, courtesy of Imogen Clark. Katie Matz, Manchester Metropolitan, the blonde, the bronze. And Cara Hanlon and Annabelle Guy-Johnson, Edinburgh teammates, fourth and fifth respectively. Just outside the medals, four women under 110. A 108.06 from Vasey though for the gold. So that was the women. Of course, now we'll have the men. Same event, 100 metre breaststroke. And leading from the front and starting from the near side, Cameron Muir of Glasgow, Caledonia. Andrew McIntosh of Edinburgh. Matthew Rogers of Birmingham in two. Zach Aitchinson of Stirling in three. James Wilby of Loughborough in four. Craig Benson, Sterling in five. Nicholas Quinn, Edinburgh in six. Daniel Lim at Watt in seven. Daniel Bloomfield of Loughborough in eight. And Jack McCornish, West of Scotland in nine. Fastest time from the heats this morning. Of course, James will be in four of Loughborough, 101.57. Nearly two seconds quicker than Craig Benson of Sterling. We'll go next to him in lane five. And then Sterling teammate Zach Aitchinson goes in lane three. He had a 103.62. 59.61 is the box record time. And surprise, surprise. That is owned by James Wilby of Loughborough, the man in lane number four. Did that at this event. 2018. This is the men's 100 metre breaststroke final. So, where we go. Best start coming from lane number three, Zach Aitchinson of Sterling. He leads with James Wilby through 25 metres. Already a gap to these early near side lanes. Lane number five, Craig Benson of Sterling. They're the top three at the halfway stage. And it's Aitchinson 0.46 back, Benson 0.54 back. Already over a second and a half back to Quinn, Bloomfield and Lim. So it's going to be coming down the centre. Can't see anybody beating these three already in the middle. Being led out by James Wilby. Fastest from the heat. He's got the Bucks record time as well. And with 10 to go, he's a metre and a half ahead of Craig Benson of Sterling. It'll be a gold for Wilby. It's a 59.42. Cracking time under one minute. Benson just outside in one minute, 0.72. And the bronze, like we said, four, five and six. Coming down the middle, Nicholas Quinn, 
Zach Aitchinson just outside in 103.82. Fans' favourite David Bloomfield, a love for a 105.66 for eight. Plenty of love for him, as ever, on the chat box, on the stream. But James will be a love for a takes the gold, 59.42. And that is, in fact, a new Bucks record. It was 59.61, so a second Bucks record goes here today at Ponds Forge. This time for James Wilby, again breaking his own record, just like Marie Wattle did, broke her own record earlier as well. And we'll now go back to the women. And it's time for the 200 metre individual medley finals. Followed by the men, so events number 607 and 608. Here we welcome the women. So, leading from the off and starting from the near side, Hannah Featherstone of Sterling. In one, Alex Stringer of Manchester Metropolitan. In two, Tara Howarth of Edinburgh. In three, Emma Day, Manchester Metropolitan. Loughborough teammates in four and five, Abby Wood and Candice Hall. Eleanor Morris of Birmingham in six. Rosie Rudin of Sheffield in seven. Myra Swanson, Aberdeen in eight. And in nine, Rosie Foden of Bath. Fastest entry by nine on five seconds is Abby Wood, a 216.3. Her teammate Candice Hall of Loughborough as well, 221.09. And then it's 223s and beyond. I don't think there's a more significant leading time from the heats in any final as there is with Abby Wood of Loughborough here in the women's 200 metre individual medley. then this is your women's 200 metre individual medley final So, as we had previously in the men's 100 metre breaststroke final, the box record is held by Abby Wood. It's a 2.13.84. She had the fastest time from the heats by some margin again. She does trail through the first marker to Candice Hall, her teammates and training partner. And look at that, these two already dragging the field along. Spreading out from left to right from the centre. And Candice Hall still leading her teammate through the backstroke leg. She's going to lead into the second half of the race. With the breaststroke and the freestyle to come. It was 0.3, it's now 0.32, still the same. And over a second out today and Rudin, point. 238 to Morris and beyond to Howarth, Swanson, Stringer. And now Abby Wood takes the lead on the breaststroke leg. In lane number three, Emma Day of Manchester Metropolitan. She's going to be alongside Candice Hall very shortly. And all of a sudden, we have a three woman race. Closest to them, Eleanor Morris. Maybe a little bit too much to do with 50 to go because Wood turns first and almost two seconds on both Hall and Day now and surely she's just going to streak away unless Hall or Day can do anything over this final 50 and with 25 to go she's maintaining that two second cushion Day and Hall absolutely neck and neck that's where the excitement's going to come from into the final 15 metres now Abby Wood of Loughborough streaking away to gold it's going to be close to the record time, but just outside, but good enough for gold here in lane number four. Abbey Wood, 
Emma Day comes through from Manchester Metropolitan to spoil the Loughborough party in a 2-17-3. Candice Hall settles for bronze, the early leader at the halfway stage. A 2-18, a 13 for her, good enough for a bronze medal. But the entirety of the race, or the second half at least, just chasing Abbey Wood is always going to be her to beat. And they couldn't on the day. Your women's 200 metre individual medley, gold medalist Abby Wood of Loughborough, Manchester's Emma Day Silver, and Loughborough's Candice Hall, the bronze. And we'll now wait just a moment for the pool to clear and we'll move on to the men's. And we're already halfway through this session of finals. After this 200 men's individual medley, we'll have 50 metre butterfly finals. And 100 metre backstroke finals. And to finish off the B and A finals of the 400 metre medley team relays. That's where we reach a crescendo. And now, entering poolside, the finalist for the women's 200 metre individual medley. In lane zero, James Brown of Loughborough. In one, John Britton of Imperial. In two, Jack McMillan of Ulster. In three, Loughborough's James McFadden. In four, Max Litchfield of Sheffield Hallam. Thomas Dean of Bath in five. Callum Laurie of Stirling in six. Bath's Jacob Greenow in seven. Edinburgh's Thomas Tsiapanis in eight. And in nine, Anglia Ruskin's Miles Turner. There are the men involved. Fastest on paper, 204.59, Max Litchfield of Sheffield Hallam. And here we are then. This is the men's 200 metre individual medley final. So we're away. Record time in this one. A box record is two minutes, 0.89. That's Duncan Scott of Sterling. Not in this final though, fastest from the heats. Max Litfield, Sheffield Hallam, 204.59. Two men inside 206. That's left for us, James McFadden and Thomas Dean. And the rest beyond 206. Litchfield trailing by 0.11 in the early stages. But clearly in front as we get to the end of the backstroke second leg. It was Jack McMillan that led at the first marker. But he's now down in third already. And a couple of metres lead and almost a couple of seconds lead for Litchfield over Dean in five. Macmillan in two, still up there. But this is a wonderful performance from Max Litchfield of Sheffield Hallam. Hometown athlete, of course. Coming to you live from poolside here in Sheffield, Ponds Forge International Sports Centre. Is that gap closing with 50 to go? It was 1.7, down to 1.34 to Dean. The Bath athlete onto the freestyle leg. Can James McFadden of Loughborough still get involved in this? But we've got a two-man race for the gold and the silver. Lichfield of Sheffield Hallam and Thomas Dean of Bath. It's going to be down to these two long strokes from Thomas Dean. Fast strokes from Litchfield coming into the final couple of metres. This is going to be right on the wire. And it goes to Thomas Dean. There's an ooh and an R in the arena. A two minutes point two five. And that is another Bucks record broken by Thomas Dean. Max Litchfield, the silver in two minutes point five oh. 
A wonderful swimming the bronze to James McFadzine. Four seconds back in 204.28. But Thomas Dean of Bath, a new box record and a gold medal to boot. Congratulations to Bath and him. In the points classification, Bath were down in fourth position with 117 points. That'll game them another 12. But it's still a long way up to Edinburgh, Stirling and Loughborough. Again, we'll try and give you as many updates on the points as we can. We'll just keep your eye on the box website. But gold for Thomas Dean, silver for Max Litchfield and James McFadden the bronze. And a new box record for Bath. For the 50 meter butterfly, we start at the opposite end of the pool, of course. And in the women's from the near side, when we're watching the footage, is Kiana McKins of Sterling in zero, Isabel Jones, her teammate from Sterling in one, Georgie Pryor, Nottingham Trent in two, Emily Barkley, Loughborough in three, Anna Tantanaki of London in four, in five, Mary Wattle of Loughborough, Jessica Coldbank of Salford in six, Tane Bruce of Edinburgh in seven. Emily Horn at Glasgow Caledonia in eight, and Anita McCartney of Edinburgh in nine. Tuntanaki, fastest from the heats, 27.39. Two hundredths ahead of Marie Wattle of Loughborough in five. And the box record, 26.36. Held by Marie Wattle. So they'll have to go over a second faster than their heat time, so they want to get near that. Again, two left for athletes in this final. Two from Sterling. In lane zero and one. But Tuntanaki of London in four, the fastest coming in. This is the women's 50 metre butterfly final. So these next two finals absolutely going to fly by. And lane six is out first in the water. Jessica Cole of Anchor Salford down the middle again. Tuntanaki and Wattle. Fastest on paper, Tuntanaki. Fastest in history of Bucks. Long course championship is Wattle to her side. And it's Wattle just out in front by a margin. Into the last five or six metres. It's all going to come down to the last couple of strokes. Who's going to reach out and take gold? It does go to Wattle, 26.41. 500 say Saito Bucks record. Tuntanaki takes silver and 26.5. And the bronze 27.14 goes to Emily Barkley of Loughborough. So it's another double medal whammy for Loughborough. Golden bronze from Marie Wattle and Emily Barkley. Tuntanaki 26.5 beats her entry time from the heats by almost a second, but only good enough for silver in the final. Jessica Calderbank in fourth and Tane Bruce in fifth. Both under 28 seconds, but half a second out of medal positions. And after the women, we move on to the men. And here they come. In order from the near side, in lane zero, Jamie Ingram of Manchester, Oliver Maltby of Bath, Henry Bland of Cardiff, in three, Callum Bain of Stirling, in four, Alex Bowen of Loughborough. In five, Lewis Fraser of Swansea. In six, Brian O'Sullivan of Loughborough. In seven, Miles Munro of Bath. In eight, Rory Huggins of Surrey. And in nine, Zach Aitchinson of Sterling. So Aitchinson already took part in a final this afternoon. He was in the 100 meter breaststroke final. Now he's in the 50 meter butterfly final. Fastest coming in, 24.73 for Loughborough's Alex Bowen. Box record time to beat, 23.63. If you're interested in breaking the long course championship record. Already had two new records broken already this afternoon. And this is final number 10. Only six to come after this one. Told you it'd be quick. 
But let's get down to business in the men's 50 metre butterfly. You've seen your entrance. This is your final. And they're away. Only 300 separating Bowen and Fraser from the heats this morning. 24.73 and 24.76. Everybody else outside of 25 seconds. And we do look towards automatically to the central lanes and it's coming from there, lanes four and five. It is Bowen and Fraser, Loughborough and Swansea. Lane number three, Callum Bain involved as well from Sterling. He could spoil the party here from lanes four and five. It does go to Callum Bain, 24.4. Sport the Loughborough party, L Alex Bowen fastest coming in, 24.61, he takes a bronze in fact. And Lewis Fraser of Swansea settles for the silver, 24.49. But a great swim from lane three of Callum Bain of Sterling. 24.4.8 outside the box record for the event. But that's by the by, he's got a gold medal around his neck later on this afternoon at the presentations. So again, gold for Sterling, silver for Swansea, bronze for Loughborough and Brian O'Sullivan of Loughborough also just outside the medals by four hundredths of a second. Told you these would be close. And after that excitement we get back to the women. This is the 100 metre backstroke coming up. Welcome them to poolside. From lane zero on the near side will be Chloe Golding, Manchester Metropolitan. Harriet West of Loughborough. Teammate from Loughborough, Charlotte Evans in two. Lucy Hope, Edinburgh in three. Cassie Wild, Sterling in four. Jessica Shaw, Birmingham in five. Courtney Price, Nottingham in six. Lotta Upan of Sterling in seven. Anna Main, Edinburgh in eight. And Olivia Neal, East Anglia goes in nine. 102.7 from Cassie Wilde this morning puts her in lane number four. A 103.35 from Jessica Shaw puts her in lane five. <laughs> Kathleen Dawson holds the Bucks record for the 100 meter backstroke in a one minute. 0.96. So a couple of seconds quicker almost than Cassie Wilde, just for sure. Lucy Hope of Edinburgh, a 103.62 coming in. And then Courtney Price, the only other woman under 104. This is your women's 100 metre backstroke final. They go 100 of metres of the pool to navigate. On the far side, best start coming from lane seven, Lotta Upan of Sterling. And lane four, Cassie Wild. The teammates. Alongside Jessica Short of Birmingham. Those three will turn first. West in lane one. Also within half a second. Hope and Price within a second. But just 400 separating. Upan in lane number seven. And Cassie Wilde in lane number four. And Wilde now moving away from the field into the final 15 metres. Silver and bronze completely up for grabs. Somewhere between short and hope possibly maybe even down in lane one Harriet West but the gold goes to Wild a 101.44 and the medal stay in the centre lanes that is incredibly tight a 102.81 for Silver for Hope a 102.83 for Shaw and then a 102.89 for Harriet West missing out on a medal by 600 
Silver and bronze separated by two hundredths. And then four tenths beyond is Cassie Wilde for Sterling. From lane number four, takes the gold. So Sterling again getting points on the board for the swimming championships over the course of the weekend. Loughborough miss out on a medal, miss out on some points there. Again, just six hundredths behind. And only another second separating the next five in the pool. So that's the women. We'll move on to the men. And here they come in the green cap. In lane zero will be Michael Reese of Nottingham. In one, Sam Pease of Stirling. In two, Craig McNally, West of Scotland. In three, Dan Cross of Loughborough. Teammate Luke Greenbank in lane number four. Martin Walton of Stirling in five. In lane six, Liam White of Swansea. In seven, Scott Gibson of Edinburgh. In eight, Vlipos Ikevidis of Bath. And in nine, Jonathan Bennett of Birmingham. Fastest coming in, Luke Greenbank of Loughborough, 55.44. The box record held by Leon Tancock of Loughborough, set in 2010. Nine years ago, that record set, 54.42. So Greenback's time of 55.44, 1.02 seconds outside. Can he find that over the next 100 metres here in the final? Or can Martin Walton, Dan Cross, Liam White, full of surprise, two seconds back from the heats. We've certainly seen some surprises already this afternoon. This is your men's 100 metre backstroke final. go and Luke Greenbank Loughborough 55.44 next closest man a second and a half behind Martin Walton of Sterling 56.99 and then beyond 57 of course for the rest of the field only out to one minute the maximum with Jonathan Bennett in nine it's only a couple of seconds separating the second to tenth fastest athletes and Luke Greenbank that gap separates him from the second fastest the Greenbank turns in fourth, it's 0.3 and 0.7, 0.2 back to McNally. Incredibly tight across lanes four, five and six. Greenbank, Walton and White in lane two. Craig McNally of West of Scotland could spring a surprise, getting the medals here as well. But Luke Greenbank, Loughborough now taking control into the final 10 metres. It's between lanes two, McNally and Liam White for silver because Greenbank gets the gold, 54.97. The only man under 55 seconds, the silver does go 55.74 to Liam White. And less than a tenth, nine hundredths behind is Craig McNally for the bronze. That's another gold on the board for Loughborough from Dan Cross in the men's 100 metre backstroke finals. Of course, all of these medal positions subject to ratification and clarification. We've heard no messages whatsoever of anything other than what's been presented to us on the board and on the screens in front of you. Again, if you are just joining us, you can use the box website for all the information you could ever need for this championship. Live results, race schedules, other event info. Have a look on the box website. And now we move on to our four remaining finals. That's all the individual finals done. We're now into the 400 medley team relays. We'll have women's up first, then the men's. We'll have a B final, then an A final. A final is where the medals are distributed. So the B final is for Pride. And the official times between 11th and 20th. So 
So first up the women and in the B final from lane zero we'll have Bristol in one Cardiff Metropolitan, in two Leeds, in three Glasgow, in four East Anglia, in five York, in six Cardiff, in seven Surrey, in eight Warwick and in nine Portsmouth. Uh, East Anglia, four minutes 36, their time into this B final. Just missing out on the A final by 1.1 seconds. York, 4.36 and a half. This is your women's 400 metre medley team relay B final. Start in the early lanes, Bristol and Cardiff Metropolitan in 0 and 1. In the centre, 4 and 5, East Anglia and York. On this first backstroke leg. Now, if you were with us yesterday, and even on Friday evening, the difference that can be made over the second 200 metres is quite incredible. I mean, we saw times being overturned of eight or nine second advantages at the halfway stage being overturned, considerably overturned in the latter stages. So don't read too much into these positions as they stand. I'll call it as it is. Lane five, York out in front, Surrey in seven, Portsmouth in nine, Bristol in zero. They're the four leaders at the 100 metre mark, leg one. And onto the breaststroke. So as you can see, Bristol leading York and Surrey by just two tenths of a second. 1.3 back to Portsmouth. And the team surrounding us here on poolside. Everybody cheering on, obviously, four times as many athletes taking part. So four times as much support. As we reach the 150 metre mark, it's York in front, 0.87 ahead of Surrey, 1.81 back to Bristol, then three and beyond to East Anglia and Portsmouth. It's quite often the butterfly leg where things really take a turn. That's coming up next. But York still lead, 25 metres to go of the second leg in seven, Surrey. And on this near side, lane zero, just about out of view sometimes, is Bristol, but not to be forgotten, of course. They'll be in the top three at the halfway mark. Now, here comes the really important leg. It always seems to be that way, the butterfly. If you've got a strong butterfly out, athlete is a massive advantage. And York in five, still lead Surrey in seven. Still Bristol in zero. In two, Leeds coming back nicely as well on the far side in nine, Portsmouth. And it will be York that still turn first, still ahead of Surrey, 1.68. Then come Bristol and Leeds, the, lead, the, the distance is out to four and a half and beyond now. So these are becoming significant numbers for the freestyle final fourth leg. Bristol have been caught down in lane zero. Leeds are coming through in two. Being chased down by Cardiff Metropolitan in one. But it is still York out in front. It was 1.36, 50 metres ago, York's lead over Surrey. 
It is still a lead. And it's now down to 1.16 onto the freestyle leg. Leeds now in third position. Cardiff Metropolitan in fourth. Bristol Bain down to fifth now from third. And apart from the top three, I don't think the difference is going to change at all. Maybe the position's in order. But it's going to take something absolutely incredible over the next 75 metres for anybody to get involved with these top three. York have led throughout. Four minutes on the turn, plus two out to Surrey, plus 3.93 to Leeds. And there's a bit more of a bigger gap. 7.5 back to Cardiff Metropolitan. Bristol down in eight seconds behind. So it will be these three for the medals. York led throughout. Heartbreak for them if Surrey could chase them down over these last 15 metres. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. And it looks, looks like Leeds have safely confirmed a bronze medal for them. But in lane five, York take the gold. It's a 4.32.22. Surrey the silver. And there come Leeds for the bronze medal, a 4.35.84. So again, the butterfly leg proving crucial. Portsmouth and Bristol both involved up until that point. Bristol particularly, they were third position at the halfway mark as we rained out the heat. Have those times confirmed for you on the stadium scoreboard. It is York the gold, silver to Surrey and leads the bronze. Warwick, in fact, disqualified at some point during that race. And a 4.32 for the gold for York, 4.33.96 for Surrey, a 4.35.84 for Leeds. Good enough for a team bronze. In fact, ignore me completely. That's 11th to 20th. I'm getting so far ahead of myself. It's the A final coming up where the medals are distributed. Sorry to get those teams excited. I'm sure you were more on the ball than I was. It's been a long old day. It's been a long old weekend. So these are your A finalists. These are fighting for gold, silver and bronze. Crikey. So here we go. From lane zero, Newcastle Uni. Aberdeen in one. Birmingham in two. Sterling in three. Loughborough in four. Manchester Metropolitan in five. Edinburgh in six, Oxford in seven, Sheffield in eight, and Leeds Beckett in nine. And Chris Yoxall on the YouTube chat. Yes, yes, Chris, that was the B final. <laughs> I've been here all weekend. I'm a little bit dehydrated. Right, here's the big one. The A final for the women. Again, Newcastle, Aberdeen, Birmingham, Stirling, Loughborough, Manchester, Edinburgh, Oxford, Sheffield and Leeds. Fastest coming in Loughborough, 4.13.81. Seven seconds quicker than Manchester. Third fastest, Stirling, a 4.22. So now it's time for your women's 400 metre medley team relay, A final. So here we go. Again, 4.13 from Loughborough. Seven seconds quicker than Manchester Metropolitan, a 4.20. And then 4.22 Sterling, 4.24 Edinburgh. So a significant heat time from Loughborough. And they lead through the first 50 metres. Ahead of Sterling and Edinburgh. Both within a second, Manchester Met. 167, Birmingham within two seconds. Huge split already in the first 75 metres. And it's Loughborough and Edinburgh doing the pulling to cause that split and that break. 
Manchester Metropolitan, a couple of metres behind already through the first leg. Now go on to the breaststroke. It'll be very tight to see who enters the water first. As Edinburgh just ahead of Loughborough. Sterling down in third, Manchester in fourth. Only those four teams within two seconds. And now Loughborough on the breaststroke leg. Regain the lead. Edinburgh still holding second. Manchester Metropolitan in fifth. In lane five in third. So this time Loughborough turn first. 0.45 ahead of Edinburgh. 2.37 back to Manchester. The gaps are growing. 3.85 out to Sterling. And everybody else beyond five. So as we saw in the B final a moment ago, the pool splitting quite significantly over the first two legs. But as we saw with Bristol coming from third, then back to fifth over the last 200 metres, the butterfly's the big one. As Rion says on the chat, medleys are always so thrilling. They are indeed, especially into leg three. So Edinburgh touchdown first. In fact, I think we've just missed the timing board of Loughborough there. Loughborough leading, Edinburgh in second place. Those two eight in front quite significantly. Third place, then you go back to Manchester Metropolitan. So three teams, you could probably say four are involved. Sterling in lane number three, but it's between Loughborough, Manchester and Edinburgh. Sterling, and they can have a great third leg and turn things around, ready for the freestyle fourth leg. Maybe they could do something. There we go, 0.67 ahead of Edinburgh. Manchester already 4.49 behind then, Sterling 7.33. Unlikely they're going to catch the two leaders. They could still catch a medal mind and steal it away from Manchester over the fourth leg. It is coming back slightly, but these two leaders, neck and neck, Loughborough, haven't led by more than about half a second throughout. And it might not even be that into this final freestyle leg. 0.61. So we have a race on for gold and silver and a completely separate race on for bronze between Manchester and Sterling. A second and a half separating those two. The lead for Loughborough now being extended over Edinburgh. Looks to be more than that 0.61. We've got a final chip time when they hit the board now. What's it grown to? Was 0.61, now 1.28, so doubled that lead from Loughborough out to Edinburgh. This is the last 30 metres for a gold medal, or the difference between gold and silver. It's been in Loughborough's hands pretty much throughout. It was in Edinburgh's hands early on. It was overturned, it was neck and neck, but on into the final 10. Loughborough will get another gold medal here at the Bucks 2019 Long Course Championships. It's a 4.07.15 for the gold, a 4.09.71 for the silver and Manchester Metropolitan are just going to hold off Sterling in third position and bronze medal position throughout the entire 400 metres. They come through to take it in the end. And a great tussle at the top, Loughborough and Edinburgh. Edinburgh leading through 200 metres, but only by less than half a second and Loughborough bring it back over the last 200 to stretch it out to two and a half seconds in the end. So a great A final for the women. We now move on to the men's, the final two events, the men's B final, followed by the men's A final. And that will be the conclusion of these 2019 long course championships. But don't go anywhere yet. Those two finals to come. And as Rion says, always so thrilling. Loughborough three seconds outside the medley record, a 4.04 set by Loughborough themselves, actually, their own record. So three and a bit of seconds out. That's set back in 2012, mind. So seven years that record's held for. Now we're going to welcome 
the second last set of men's teams. It's the men's 400 meter medley team relay B final. On the left hand side of your screen and racing from lane zero is Sheffield. In one, Lancaster. In two, East Anglia. In three, Newcastle. In four, Portsmouth. In five, Cambridge. In six, Surrey. In seven, Leeds. In eight, Cardiff Uni. And in nine, Manchester. So quickest time into this B final is Portsmouth in a 4.02.48. A couple of seconds outside getting into the A final. The 10th and final spot in that A final held by Oxford in a 4 minutes 0.86. So this is your men's 400 meter medley team relay B final. So again from the near side, Sheffield, Lancaster, East Anglia, Newcastle, Portsmouth, Cambridge, Surrey, Leeds, Cardiff and Manchester. Nearly lead lane three, Newcastle. Leading Portsmouth by 1.34, Sheffield by 1.47. Surrey, Cambridge and Lancaster within two. And it's a very, very strong backstroke, leg one from Newcastle. That lead being extended early on. So he'll be handing over a two and a half, three second lead into the breaststroke. Might even be more than that, it's 2.78. 2.92 back to Portsmouth, Surrey ahead of them, then Sheffield, Lancaster, Cardiff all within five. Manchester just outside. So wonderful support again from Paul side. And Newcastle's leg two. Maintaining that lead. It was 2.5 or so, it's now 2.81, 3.33 out to Portsmouth. Surrey and Cambridge still within five. That's around about the barrier at halfway if you really want to make a turnaround over the second 200. Again, the butterfly crucial in this. But Newcastle, fantastic first leg, solid second leg. Neil Murphy shouting for Portsmouth on the streaming chat service. Plenty of emoticons as well. Keep them coming. But Newcastle will maintain that lead. Was 2.81. It's now 2.2. Sheffield 2.5. Portsmouth and Surrey and Cardiff now all within five. And now will we see a change over this 100 metres? The lead is reducing again and again. Portsmouth and Cambridge coming through the centre. Newcastle can even lose this lead over this 50 metres. As Cambridge come absolutely flying through with the first 50 of the butterfly. It's a 2.30.98 on the turn. Portsmouth one tenth behind. And Newcastle equally almost neck and neck. So now we go with Portsmouth and Cambridge. Newcastle in danger of losing third spot here. As Surrey come up in lane number six. So it looks like a four-team race into this freestyle leg. And Portsmouth lead first, then Cambridge, Newcastle and Surrey. So Portsmouth in four with a lead with 75 to go now. It's a two-man race for first and second, which will be 11th and 12th overall in the medley team relay standings. But this is pride on the line. 
And they still turn Portsmouth. 0.48 now, almost half a second. 2.65 back to Newcastle and Surrey. And as we approach the final 25 metres, this is going to be incredibly tight now, Portsmouth and Cambridge. Absolutely neck and neck. It's just these two in it. Newcastle and Surrey fighting for third. It's absolutely stroke for stroke down the lanes four and five. Portsmouth and Cambridge. Are Portsmouth just going to get it in the final stroke? They do. Four minutes, 0.77 for first. Second place goes to Cambridge in a 4.0109. Third place is held on by Newcastle. Our early leaders for the first 200 metres, Newcastle. And fell away to third over the second half of the race. A cracking win for Portsmouth here in the B final. 4.77. Just four tenths ahead of Cambridge in lane number five. Neil Murphy's going to be very happy. And a wonderful, wonderful B final. Let's hope the A final can serve up just the same when the medals will be on offer. And it's the final medals of the championship. One set of golds, one set of silvers and one set of bronzes remain. Ten teams involved. Seven are going to go home empty-handed. And it's an incredible record in the men's 400 medley metre medley team relay. Set by Loughborough last year. They go in lane five and they hit a 338.35. Ridiculous time considering Sterling's fastest time from the heats coming into this final was a 350.96. That's a 12 second difference. So here they come. Our last welcomes of the championship. We welcome to lane zero, Sheffield Hallam. To lane one, Manchester Metropolitan. To lane two, Bath. To lane three, Swansea. In lane four, Sterling. In five, the box record holders, Loughborough. In six, Edinburgh. In seven, Birmingham. In eight, Glasgow. And in nine, Oxford Uni. And on the YouTube streaming chat, Neil Murphy most definitely happy. Hope the A final is as good as that. I couldn't agree more, Neil. Let's finish this championships off with an absolute cracker. Just a second separating Stirling and Loughborough from the heats yesterday. 350 against a 351. Again, that championship record set last year by Loughborough at 338.35. Is that on the cards? It's going to take something incredibly, incredibly special. So our leg one competitors are stood poolside. And their teammates are already behind them. Noise around the arena. This is it, the final final of the final session on the final day here at Ponds Forge. Been an absolute pleasure to bring you all these races and finals in the championship. And this is where it finishes. This is the men's 400 metre medley team relay A final. And we're away 400 metres from gold, silver and bronze. And down in lane zero, it's a good start for Sheffield Hallam. In the centre three lanes, as you can imagine, three, four and five, Swansea, Sterling and Loughborough. It's the 50 metre mark. It is going to be Sterling behind Loughborough. No surprise there. 0.63 back to Edinburgh. Swansea within a second. And Sterling and Loughborough cracking the, the rest of the pool from the centre. And it's Loughborough out in front by a metre or so at the end of leg number one. Onto the breaststroke. The lead's gone over a second to 1.05, just under two to Edinburgh. 
Swansea, Bath and Birmingham within five. And look at that. Loughborough at the head of a spear in the middle of the pool. As every team trails behind them to their left and right. Closest to them, of course, Sterling. 56.29 for the first leg to Loughborough's 55.24. Still leading Loughborough, 1.09 now, no difference from the end of the first leg. 0.325 back to Edinburgh, 3.47 back to Swansea. The remaining teams now outside five seconds. So Loughborough leading at the halfway mark. Ten metres to complete, a handover to the butterfly leg athletes. Can Sterling bring this back in leg number three? The lead's growing for Loughborough. So Edinburgh in third place, 5.3 back. And strong strokes at the far end of the pool. Loughborough unable to pull away. Sterling matching them stroke for stroke. Still a deficit. Just 1.17 seconds, 150 metres to go. The fight for bronze being won by Edinburgh, just ahead of Swansea by a second and a half. Edinburgh in lane number six, Swansea in three. We'll come back to that. We'll keep our eye on the front of the race. And it's as you were 100 metres ago, Loughborough leading Sterling. By just over a second or so, it's 1.11 into the fourth and final leg. The final swimmers of the championship take to the pool. Edinburgh still leading Swansea, it's down to 0.7 of a second. Bath outside 10 seconds behind now. They can still chase down for a medal. Let's go back to the front of the pool. And this is getting tighter and tighter. It's nowhere near 1.11. In fact, it's just 0.31 now. So seven tenths of a second gained. Over the seventh 50 metres, 50 metres to go. And Sterling could be bringing this away. The big rivals in the pool, Sterling and Loughborough, they shared these championships over the last couple of years, long course and short course. But in the last 50, Sterling are going to streak away with this. And it's going to be a win by a couple of seconds in the end. Fantastic final leg from Sterling. 338.59. That is only two tenths outside the championship record. Loughborough take the silver, 30. 340.57 and Edinburgh edge out Swansea and in fact edge out Bath as well. They came flying through at the end. Edinburgh take the bronze. So a fantastic, fantastic final. Sterling the goal, 338.59. Two tenths outside the championship record, which Loughborough still hold. There's a consolation. Loughborough take home the silver, 3 minutes 40.57. And a great battling performance from Edinburgh to hold off Swansea and Bath in that final leg. And ladies and gents, that is the end of our three-day championships here. We've been live poolside the entirety. Thank you so much for joining us here at Ponds Forge International Sports Centre. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring you every single race, every single final, every single medal. A special thanks to Rion Solman. He's been with me on the web chat every single session. So thanks for joining me. It feels like I've had somebody with me. It's been much appreciated. Everybody that commented on the chat, everybody that's used the hashtag Bucks National, Thank you for getting involved. It's very much appreciated. We love, love entertaining you. And the entertainment really comes from the pool. We're just here talking about it. So thank you for joining us. Great day in Sheffield. It's the big Bucks National Weekend. Plenty of other sports going on. So just type in Bucks Sports 2019 on a search engine. There's loads of other live streams from the athletics, the judo, the karate, the climbing, the fencing, etc., etc. Enjoy as much as you possibly can. But from us here in Pawns Forge, my name's Ewan. Thank you for joining me. Have a great evening and good night.